when you're in the scope because I've got my um, COVID mask. We're going. <laughs> oh, hello everybody. Can you see me out there? And this time, hopefully, you can hear me. Look at that. Look, he's got his he's got a beautiful mask. You know, sing through that. That's to stop the wind coming out. <laughs> so we got nobody watching at the moment anyway. Oh, look at me. Oh, there are some people. Hello everybody, who's out there? Let me know who's out there. Um, do say hello if you're there. Who have we got? Got 11 people, that's lovely, isn't it? Just having a little bit of trouble seeing comments. But we'll get this sorted. But get, bear with us a sec, you know, come come on in. 12 of you out there, that's lovely. Can you hear me this time? Say hello. Simon Edwards can say, see, hear, all good. Thanks, Simon. Uh, we've, we've actually got a little crowd of people around. They're all safely social distanced, I'm, I'm glad to say. Um, looks like it's going to be a nice evening. Yeah. Paul's, um, I mean, if you didn't tune in right at the beginning, Paul's um, he's got that on to stop the to stop the hot air coming out. So um, we're just going to wait around, get ready. Uh, just give give us a moment, all right? I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Paul, talk to them. Well, lovely to see you all here. I don't know if you can hear me through my COVID mask. I'm actually wearing it because I have to sit near John. <coughs> Hold on a minute. And um, welcome to the Nolings Field here in Whitchurch, as you can see behind you. Also known as the dog walking field. You may well hear some canine accompaniment. I don't want to cross your violin. Over the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Put so, a little table down. Uh, John, stop interrupting me. This is my <laughs> moment. You get to lift that, even though it's probably worth tens of pounds. And so, uh, yes, we've got some of our lovely neighbours out here. I think it uh, looks like they're having nice champagne. Drink. Some of our neighbours are very posh. Um, it's a lovely sunny day, so John, who lives just up the road, said let's do some music in a field. Our second instalment of Folk in the Field, coming to you from Whitchurch Folk Club. John is just setting up the audio and the visuals. He's trying to get the, my best side. Yeah, thank you. It's quite a choice there. He's got several to choose from. Brought you something nice to drink today. Oh, thank you. Something there. So we're going to play you a few tunes and sing you a couple of songs, including a song that originates here in the cultural epicentre of Hampshire, here in Whitchurch. Yes, okay, so we can see we've got a few, a little crowd, so we can start. Let me just get the, let, get the levels right. No, we're not going to do Baby Shark, sorry. <laughs> Next time we will take some requests. But Shiver and Shine was the other one. <laughs> I'll learn them for next time. Shiver and Shine and Baby Shark. You heard it first here. So we'll start off with a couple of uh, standard um, uh, session tunes that we often play um, in, in and around the pubs of Andover and Whitchurch and Oxford and so on. Uh, the first tune is called The Quaker and it's in D. John. Thank you, thank you. And the second tune is called Three Around Three. Now Three Around Three is a dance tune. And there's a specific dance step to go with this, so forget your Joe Wicks and all that nonsense. In the comfort and, and privacy of your own home, you can, could be doing the proper step for three around three, which is... Are you going to dance It's called it? a rant step and it goes like this. Oh my God. One and two. A one and... Come on everyone. One and two. A one and two. It's a very good exercise. Um, I will just let you know that due to COVID I've had to wear a, um, a sports bra to do that. <laughs> So, uh, Quaker and uh, Gallopede with Rant Steps. I'm going to take my ears off so I can listen to you. Okay. D. Yep. <laughs>
and possibly Galloped or possibly three around three, I can't remember. Mm. So we have a little a bit of product placement now here. <laughs> yes. John. But I thought I would uh, bring it because it's a nice evening and it's a nice drink and it pours so nicely and you're going to sing a song about not drinking and so this is a song for the non-drinking I'll just have a little sip of my uh, <coughs> water <laughs> so I'm, going, I'm going to drink real kombucha a very large water <laughs> real kombucha <laughs> Which is a non-alcoholic campaign. Could I try some, please? Yes, that's for so, you. So, John, tell us what kombucha is. Kombucha is a fermented drink made out of tea, and it's a, a very delicious drink that tastes a lot like a champagne, uh, and it's completely non-alcoholic. I haven't drunk alcohol for 13 years, so it's very, uh, very nice for me. So this is to all the non-drinkers out there. It's very nice. I think it would taste very nice mixed with my uh, water. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Very civilized. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. So, just so you know, all of you out there, all the people who have gathered either on Facebook or on on YouTube, um, we have how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five people, something like that. 25 here, residents of Whitchurch and they're all related. All, <laughs> all of them very, very spaced out, very safe. I think this is lovely. It's the first time we've had some live music for 14 weeks with people. Thank you for coming. Well, so talking of um, drinking songs or non-drinking songs, here's a version of a, um, a song that many of you will know already in a different version. Um, it's called The Wild Rover, and a lot of people think it's uh, an Irish song because it was covered by the Dubliners or Chieftains or something and made very famous. But actually, the version that they did originates like um, a lot of slightly bizarre things in East Anglia, which is why there's something slightly not right about that <laughs> version. Uh, but there are other versions, superior versions of The Wild Rover, and the one that we're going to uh, perform now was collected in 1907 from a labourer called Henry Lee who lived about a quarter of a mile in that direction. Those of you that watched the last version of Folk in the Field will notice a theme here. Yeah, songs from which So he sang 11 songs to uh, George Gardner, Dr George Gardner, who was uh, the predominant folk song collector in Hampshire in the early 1900s. Uh, Henry and his daughter, who um, was just cited as Miss Lee, sang various songs of generally quite good quality. This is their version of the Wild Rover, which we can just imagine being sung here in the pubs a hundred years ago. And we certainly over the last few years, and there are members of my choir here, we've revived this song. So once the pubs are open again, uh, we'll all be singing, singing it back indoors. So for the time being there, and choir members, you are welcome to join in. At a distance, Barry. at a very safe distance. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, Whitchurch version of The Wild Rover, a cautionary tale. Is this I've the right? been a wild rover for many a long year. I've spent all my many boys on fine gals and strong beer. But for my part I'll lay up my money in store. And it's never will I play the Wild Rover no more. Wild Rover, Wild Rover, Wild Rover no more. And it's never will I play the Wild Rover no more. So I went to an alehouse where I used to resort. The liquor was good, but my money ran short. I asked them to trust me, but their answer was nay. Such a customer as you, my boy, we may have any day. Wild Rover, Wild Rover, Wild Rover no more. 
And it's never will I play the wild rover no more. And I pulled out my handfuls of money straightway. It was only to try them to hear what they say. Kind sir, you are welcome to liquor of the best. What I said to you before, kind sir, was only in jest. What rover, what rover, what rover no more. And it's never will I play the what rover no more. Oh no, I reply, that never can be I'll see you all hanged if I spend one penny For a man that's got money may sing and may roar But a man that's got none must be turned out of doors What rover, what rover, what rover no more, and it's never will I play the watch over no more. You should see the landlady at ease in her chair, with ruffles round her wrists and fine curls in her hair. Well, it's got by our money boys that you very well know. And for to maintain her, we are fools if we do. What rover, what rover, what rover no more. And it's never will I play the what rover no more. What rover, what rover, what rover no more. And it's never will I play the watch rover no more. Okay, well joined in. Two people. Now that's the uh, Whitchurch version of the Wild Rover sung by Henry Lee in 1907 at Two Weir Cottages, uh, just about a, a quarter of a mile down the road from here. <laughs> Lovely business. Tune? <coughs> or have you done them all? No, okay. Um, a couple of waltzes now. I mean, it's a perfect evening for you to all get up and dance. Some, some of dancing. you actually look as if you could do with some post lockdown exercise, actually, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> uh, we'll play a couple of waltzes the Seville Waltz and the Salamanca Waltz. They've, they've got very elegant titles, sophisticated even. Um, they're both waltzes which were written after uh, battles during, I think, the Napoleonic Wars in the very early 1800s when waltzes were all the fashion, uh, both in cities and towns and also in rural areas increasingly. So these two waltzes come from a manuscript uh, which um, emerged from the village of Nether Wallop. And Nether Wallop is actually a, a village in Hampshire, not a compound verb. And Nether Wallop's <laughs> about... 12 miles from here, maybe 13 miles from here. Um, part of the greater wallops. Part of all the, all of the three wallops. All the wallops. <laughs> all the wallops. <laughs> uh, and we think, well, we know, in fact, that so this these are wallop waltzes. These are wallop waltzes, John. You can feel free to go ahead and demonstrate. No, 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 no. No, the, um, no God, no. The tunes were put together. The tune, well, there's a manuscript book that was put together by a chap called Richard Pyle. Uh, Richard Pyle, we think, was about 13 years of age at the time when he put this manuscript put together in the early 1800s and in it uh, there are it starts with hold on did I just let a joke pass no I'm getting there I won't <laughs> give me time okay um, so that his little manuscript book, which is a beautiful it's a thing of beauty actually it's about yay big and it lives in the Hampshire Hampshire records office I think that's, that's what it's called in uh, Winchester and it's a bound leather book and he's, he's Richard Pyle has written in it in beautiful copper plate handwriting. Um, a series of dance tunes, starts from the beginning with dance tunes, waltzes, polkas, two steps, quick steps, all the things that were fashionable at the time. And then he's also got some, uh, some ecclesiastical tunes in there as well. 
and we think that he was being tutored by a visiting dancing master or a music tutor who was making him write these tunes out as part of his exercise. Um, so this manuscript from Richard Pyle found its way into Hampshire uh, Records office and a few years ago, and here's another little plug, a couple, a couple of us um, took a selection of the best tunes and edited them and put them into a book called Hampshire Dance Tunes, which is available from Bandcamp, both on the Faustus and Belshazzar's Feast Bandcamp pages for only uh, not very much money. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a lovely book and it's a snapshot of what people were dancing in rural areas, not the working class, but the more the landed gentry. A snapshot of what people were dancing to in 1817. Some of you might remember that, actually. <laughs> Jane Austen. Yeah, Jane Austen. Yeah, around the Jane Austen era, absolutely, yeah. Um, so lots of very genteel, graceful dancers rather than your rugged barn dance type mm. things. And so as John pointed out, these two waltzes sound like they could be classical. Well, in those days, no one differentiated between classical and folk. In fact, the term folk hadn't even been invented, and it's a shame it was, really. People just made music. Someone composed these tunes, and then they eventually found their way into the vernacular, into the current stream of what we now call folk or traditional music. So, Nether Wallop, a slightly unfortunate place. Manuscript put together by Richard Pyle, who also, that's a slightly unfortunate name, and Pyle's farm still exists, but in the 1960s, the then owners changed the name from Pyle Farm to something else, because, and I quote from a letter, they thought the title Pyle's Farm um, was redolent of hemorrhoids and vulgarity. <laughs> Just to compound this, Nether Wallop, Pyle, when we put the tune book together, I did it with a, I co-edited it with a friend of mine whose name is Bob Shatwell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the waltz. Does he nice. mind you doing jokes about that? <laughs> Sorry? Scatological jokes with his name. Does well, he there mind? are children here, I'm sure they love it. Um, <laughs> but if you want to get up and have a dance, um, please do. <laughs>
do some talking, shall we? <laughs> Paul's got tired. Let's see, I think I shall go. Just put this down. I'm going, sorry, this is weird, isn't it? But we've got people on the internet that I've got to talk to, so. This is the modern gig, right? So, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> so strange to have an audience watching this. If you have questions, it doesn't just have to be them, you know. You can all ask questions too. Let's see if anybody's saying anything interesting. So we've got people all the way from Hackney. Big cheer for Hackney. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, and that's it, actually. So I'm going to go back over here. <laughs> we got one person there from Hackney. I've heard of Hackney. Why don't you show the audience? Why don't you just whiz the computer around so we can see? Our... I could try and whiz the computer. You could around. do a Mexican no. wave. We're going to. Sh I'm going to see if I can. Just spin, spin you round. Look, <laughs> over there we have some people. See, all very safely socially distanced. Hello, everybody. Mexican waving. Coming round here. Can you see into the sun there? It's a full, a full crowd, and that's Paul. Tony, you've made yourself dizzy now. <laughs> My head is spinning like a whirlpool. Uh, just a uh, time for an advert break. I'm just going to have a little sip of my real kombucha. <laughs> the best fermented drink in the world. It's really lovely. You should all come and have some, but just don't get too close. <laughs> I've just been insulted by one of my friends who thinks that these shorts came from the same emporium as Nigel Farage. Did Nigel Farage come from an, of an emporium? Or just the, the, the uh, short? I'm never going to speak to you again, Mary. I've been waiting for an excuse for 10 years. <laughs> Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Little darling, I feel that ice is slowly melting. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the song, and I say, it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the song. Here comes the song, and I say, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Just a little one. Seeing as it does feel like it's been a long time, doesn't it? Feels like the right song to sing on a night like this. Do you have anything else you want to play, tunes-wise? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, Shall we play those hornpipes? Sure, let's do some hornpipes. Can I think of something else, do you? Oh, I can, we can think, yeah. I've got we, we're only limited in our time factor by how long John's battery in his computer lasts. It looks like we've got a bit of time left. Damn. Uh, <laughs> what should we do? Well... I'll play those hornpipes. What do you think of another song you could do? Okay. I can, that? You play the hornpipes. So if I can join in, I'll join in. Yes. So two uh, hornpipes. The first one is called Miss Thompson's Hornpipe. Mm. 
and the second one is it's a, again a quite a standard session tune here in England and in fact all over Britain and it's called Off to California. Can I have a note please? What's a hornpipe called? Well, John. Hmm. There are two definitions of hornpipe. The original hornpipe, um, English hornpipe, was in the time signature of 3 2. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a quite a elegant sort of dance, but then in the 18th and 19th centuries, in the stage in London and other um, urban centres of culture, during plays and shows on stage, at various points, supposedly uh, working people would be introduced onto stage to do a dance. You'd have shepherds and shepherdesses and all that sort of, uh, I suppose, upper class representation of a pastoral ideal. And amongst that would be sailors. And the sailors would come on wearing big baggy trousers and whatever and do these things called hornpipes which were a sort of dotted type of dance. And the most famous one is probably the Sailor's Hornpipe. Uh, also the theme tune, for those of you of a certain generation, theme tune to Captain Pugwash mm. is a hornpipe. But actually that's a more modern uh, construct. I'm oh, sorry, I've just bored myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you play a hornpipe? I think this real kombucha's gone to my head. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to play one a more modern sort of version of a hornpipe, and as I say, the first one's called Miss Thompson's Hornpipe. We don't know who Miss Thompson was, and the second one's called Off to California. Okay. Um, <clears throat>
my banana. Oh, I threw you with my banana. <laughs> Did you get Song. I will do a song, a dark song. <laughs> I did all the bright songs earlier. A dark Birmingham song. Mm. But I'll do it in a different key to that. Let me just find the right key. So the song that we're going to play is a uh, down a bit, sorry. Is it? So yes, this is a Brummie song. I think this is a, not a great microphone for singing into, but I'll give it a go. It's called There Was An Old Man Came Over The Sea. Um, it's a strange song that uh, was collected at Christmas time and I'm not quite sure why this man thought it was a right, the right song to be singing in a Christmas time pub, because it's all about um, Darkness and nastiness. But, um, oh, Christmas is a pretty grim time, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's not a great time for humanity. <laughs> All right. It's good for singing along, though. There was an old man came over the sea. Yeah, but I'll not have him. Well, there was an old man came over the sea, came over the sea to marry me. With his old grey noddle, his old grey noddle, his old grey noddle shaking. Mama told me to open the door Yeah, but I'll not have him My mama told me to open the door And I opened the door But he fell on the floor With his old grey noddle His old grey noddle His old grey noddle shaking Mama told me to get him a chair Yeah, but I'll not have him And my mama told me to get him a chair And I got him a chair But he sat like a bear oh, With his old grey novel His old grey novel His old grey novel my mama told me to make him some toast Yeah, but I'll not have him Well, my mama told me to make him some toast And I made him some toast 
but he sat like a ghost with his old gray noddle, his old gray noddle, his old gray noddle shaking. My mama told me to take him to church. Well, my mama told me to take him to church And I took him to church But he fell off his perch With his old grey noddle His old grey noddle His old grey noddle shaking My mama told me to send him to bed Yeah, but I'll not have him Well, my mama told me to send him to bed Well, I sent him to bed But in the morning he was dead With his old grey noddle His old grey noddle His old his old grey noddle is old grey noddle is old grey noddle shaking mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed that All you fake promies out there in case um, any of you are interested, that was an F sharp minor. Is that unusual for you? Yes, thanks, John. It's um, you did very well. You're too kind. It's, you're possibly trained. Aren't you? And here, of course, is the star of the show, Jarvis. Whee! Now bugger off. Back to, back to the dog's home. <laughs> right. Anything else? Yeah. Should we play another tune? We have to do Astrid at some point. Okay, well, yeah, we've got, we'll do a couple more then, since mm. um, so many of our lovely friends and dogs have come out to uh, <laughs> see us. We'll play a couple of, of um, tunes and songs that we did last time. Short. Yeah, we Blackbird again Short, or something. Short, Blackbird yeah. and Astley's, why not? In that way around? Yeah. Okay, so we'll sing the uh, Whitchurch anthem. This one is, uh, I want to dedicate both of these tunes to Jackie Oates who uh, watches everything that we do and apparently seems to love these two tunes in particular. And one evening we're going to... <laughs> one evening you look you look really surprised. Um, do you mean Blackbird or the tunes? Yeah, sorry, the song and the tunes. The song and the tunes, right. But one evening we want to get Jackie to come and sing in the field. Would you come and see Jackie sing in the field? Yeah. Is Jackie there? She might be there. Well, you know, she is. Jackie's talking about moving to Richard, so if you could all look out for a house for her. Yeah. Mm, mm, they've got a house. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we got. Uh, let's, let me just see. We've got hello uh, from Piers. That's nice. Great tunes. Thank you very much. Well, Piers up in uh, Yorkshire, isn't he? Piers up in Yorkshire. So there's somebody who's further away than Hackney. Big cheers for Yorkshire. Ah, he buy gum. There we go. Thank you, Piers. Blackbird. Yeah. Okay, so this is if I was a blackbird, I'm sure you all know it and join in. Again, another uh, Witchurch version of a famous song sung by our hero, Witchurch local hero, Henry Lee. Um, do join in with the chorus in the safety of your own home. It's all here in the field. Yeah. <clears throat> I am a poor girl, but my fortune is sad. Six months have I courted a young sailor lad, and truly I loved him by night and by day. And now in his transport he sailed far away. If I was a blackbird, could whistle and sing, I'd follow the vessel my true love sails in, and on the top rigging where I build my nest and lay my head all night on his lily 
Love's tall and handsome in every degree. His parents despise him because he loves me. But let them despise him or say what they will. While there's breath in my body, I love my love still. If I was a Whistle and sing, I follow the vessel my true love sails in, and on the top rigging, there I build my nest and lay my head on but on his lily white breast. Okay. Surrounded by dogs. <laughs> Been like hundred and one Dalmatians here. <laughs> he promised he'd meet me at Bonnie Brown Fair with a bunch of blue ribbons to tie in my hair. And if he should meet me, I'd crown him with joy And kiss those fun lips of my young sailor boy If I was a black man, could whistle and sing I'd follow the vessel my true love sails in And on the top rigging there I build my nest and lay my head all night on his lily white nest. If I was a writer, could handle the pen, just one private letter to him I would send. I write and I tell him. Of my sad grief and woe, and far on the ocean with him I would go. If I was a black bird, could whistle and sing, I'd follow the vessel my true love sails in. And on the top rigging, there I build my nest and lay my head on my tongue in the white hands. If I was a black bird, could whistle and sing, I'd follow the vessel my true love sails in. And on the top rigging, there I build my nest and lay my head all night on his lily white breast. I will talk about the folk club. Um, so we, uh, we, we do this, and all, a lot of the people here tonight, as you saw just now, those of you who tuned in earlier, there's, there's lots and lots of lovely people doing Mexican waves at us at the moment, all very safely socially distanced. And a lot of these people um, come to our folk club. We run a folk club here in Whitchurch once a month, in better times, more safe times. And um, we have some wonderful people come down here and play. Um, not usually us. But uh, various other other people, well-known uh, folk musicians, of all shapes and sizes, and uh, and they come and play every month. And we really look forward to getting them back again when we can. There's no proper sign of that happening yet, but maybe we can do some stuff like this where we get a few people to come out and play a few songs in the field. And what a nice way to spend a summer evening. So uh, let's have a go at that. But um, this, yeah, to all you uh, to you all you folky people out there. I uh, hope you're enjoying it, and uh, we'll try to do this more often when we can.
I've got to be honest, I'd rather do this and hang out with you lot in folk clubs. <laughs> <coughs> um, and I don't have to drive home afterwards either. <laughs> um, so yeah, look up the Witchurch Folk Club. We're on the, on Facebook and various other social media platforms. Mm. And John and I have our own Instagrams, Twitters, Facebook, um, YouTube, and as I told you all last time, Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. we'll finish off then. It's been a lovely. Uh, We've done time. 51 minutes now. And I think John's battery's about to run out, which is not a euphemism. We're not on his laptop. So we'll finish <laughs> off with a, a last tune set, shall we? Let's. Yes, the usual. Yeah, the usual. So two uh, dance tunes, English country dance tunes called Astley's Ride and something else that we didn't do earlier. <laughs> okay. Do we have a think about that? Have a little think. Okay, if, talk a bit more. If anybody wants to dance very separately behind us, like you can dance. We've got lots of field space here. You can come and dance. If you're a child and you fancy running around and dancing, dance. Dance! Yeah, we'll, um, we'll uh, as kindly suggested, we'll start with a, a sort of English reel called Astley's Ride, and then we'll go into some jigs, okay. of which we'll make up as we go along. Okay. Are you right. sure? You got okay. that in your head? I'll just follow you, obviously. But. Okay. So thank you all for coming. Thank um, you. Yeah, we'll do it again. And next time, bring a picnic and bring us some supplies. And if you could please stack your chairs very neatly by the side <laughs> on the way Take out. Take your glasses that to the bar. Very yeah. helpful. <laughs>
thank you all very much. I'm going to turn it off now. Uh, we'll see you again in a week or two. Yeah, we shall do this again. So thanks for coming. See you in Folk in the Field. Yay! Yay.